Hello and welcome to Beeronet's video on how to install 3CX for Debian on the Beeronet Telephony Appliance. If you're looking at installing 3CX for Debian on another system, don't worry, a lot of the steps we're using today to install this are going to be exactly the same. First, you're going to want to access your um, Beeronet Appliance with a hypervisor on that Beeronet Appliance. Here you can see I already have it pulled up. But if you're not sure about the IP address where that's located, there is a tool we provide to help you find that. So the easiest way to find that tool is to go to wiki.beeronet.com and then scroll down right here and then you can find BF Detect. Just unzip that file, start that program, and it'll let you know the location of all the Beeronet devices in your local network. So. Once you have that IP address, just navigate to it with your favorite browser and log into the hypervisor using the default credentials admin and then the password Beeronet. Once you log in, you're going to see your dashboard and it's probably very likely that your dashboard is going to be empty. You can see here that I already have two systems running, um, but neither of those are our PBX system. So we're going to go ahead and install our 3CX PBX system. To do that, I first need to get that ISO file. There's two ways to do this. You can go to our market and then scroll down and here you see ISOs, 3CX Linux, and there's the um, ISO file right here. Just click the install button and it will download that ISO file. As you can see, I've already done that. So I have the ISO file in my system already. If you want to take the ISO file directly from 3CX's servers, or maybe a different ISO file from another location, you can go into the manage ISOs um, section of the GUI and use the web download feature. All you have to do then is find the URL of that ISO file where it is on the web, copy it, and paste it in that location and push download. If you already have it downloaded, you can also upload it to the GUI um, using this feature here. So many ways to ensure you get the ISO media that you're wanting, but since we already have ours, we're going to go ahead and create our 3CX system. To do that, first go to Virtual Machines, Manage Virtual Machines, and then click New Virtual Machine. I'm going to call this 3CX Debian and give it three cores or CPUs to work with, about four um, gigabytes of RAM there and give it space um, of 20 gigabytes disk size. Now you might need more than 20. It depends on if you're going to be doing a lot of, um, let's say recording, call recording, um, have a lot of voicemails. For this purpose though, in this demo, I'm just going to use 20. Change your VNC password to a um, more secure password than change me. And then select the ISO you would like to boot from to install that. Because this is our PBX system, we're going to want it to start every time the appliance starts. So I'm going to push start on boot right there and then create my virtual machine. Now, all that's set is to start it. With the virtual machine started, I can now open um, the screen in a different tab. And you can see here I'm connected via VNC. And then I'm going to select return or enter to start my installation. Now, a lot of the commands I'm going to be doing right now are on the keyboard. And during this part, just assume that I'm using the arrow keys and the return keys or just typing in information. All right. Here we can add a host name. Now, this should be in the format of server name dot your domain name dot com. If you plan on having this live on the web, I'm not going to have it live on the web. This is going to be my local installation. So the host name is just what I want to have in my local network. So I'm going to put 3CXDB in here and continue. And again, if you're going to have this live on the web, the domain name's pretty important. Um, so you can add that here, but I'm just going to skip it for the moment. All right. And then because I'm speaking English, I'll go ahead and continue with English. I'm not in the United States. I'm actually in Germany right now. Beeronet is a German company. So I'll go into Europe, click down to Germany. And then it's going to ask me once again, and I'm just going to go ahead and click United States for that and provide a secure root password and continue. 
using the 3CX ISO, you don't have the ability to create other users from the beginning. It expects you to do everything under root. So ensure that you have an extremely secure root password for that. And keep in mind, if you do make changes to the Debian system in the future, you may want to add another user or um, just be very careful because you can really mess things up when you're logged in with root. Okay, I'm currently in Berlin, so I'll go ahead and select that for my time zone. And now it's going to ask me about disk partitioning. There are a few various options to use for disk partitioning, but I'm just going to go with simple and use entire disk and select my disk here. And then it's going to ask if I want to do separate partitions for various areas of my um, various folders. I'm actually going to use the same partition. I don't see a reason to separate those for this PBX installation. There we go. I'm going to finish and write changes to disk. And then it's going to ask me one last time, am I certain I want to do this? And of course I am. So I'm going to put yes. And now it's going to install the base Debian system. And then the device is going to um, reboot to complete the installation with 3CX. After it reboots, you are going to see this screen again. Don't panic and don't push enter. Instead, go back into your um, hypervisor, turn the machine off, go into system and boot device, select C, and then save changes. At that point, you can go ahead and start it again. And reconnect your screen. All right, after it goes through the whole installation of the 3CX system, it's gonna give you this option here to whether you want to um, run the tool using the command line or of course the web browser. And we're gonna use web browser. So I'll go ahead and select option number one. And then it's gonna give me an IP address and port number to load into my browser to finish the installation. So I'll go ahead and open a new tab type in that IP address and port number. And here we are. Okay, it's gonna ask me to put in my license key here. You can get a license key going to link here and filling out that form, um, but I have one, so I'll go ahead and type that in and then click next. Okay, and then it's gonna ask me for a username and a password. I recommend not using the generic admin username. It's probably the first thing people are gonna to try to use when they hack something. So do something unique and then a secure password. Of course, the longer it is, the better. Um, yeah, and then select next. It's gonna ask you if they detected the correct public IP address. I'll go ahead and agree with that and select next as well. And then it's going to give you the option of using a static IP if your provider gives you a static IP or using a dynamic IP. I'm gonna go ahead and click static for this installation and go next. And then I'm gonna use a 3CX FQDN. Go ahead and click next, choose a domain name. I'm gonna go ahead and use BeerNet rules for this. Um, and then check in my country here. There we go, 3CX.de for Germany. And then next. Here it's gonna ask me um, to select the default network adapter. Of course, I only have one, so I'll select that. And then it's asking me here if I have a, a managed DNS or an internal DNS. I don't, so I'm gonna keep with my local IP. And now it's gonna set up all that and do some wizard work in the background so that everything works. All right, now that that wizard work is done, you can see it's giving me the option to change my ports. I don't recommend doing that, just leave them the same um, and then click finish. At the end, it's gonna give us an overview of our entire setup here, um, the stuff we did. You can see my super secure password right there and um, license key and all that. But now that we've done that, I can go ahead and log into 3CX, either using the external information here or the local IP address. But there's something that we should really focus on in that this IP address was provided by my DHCP server. This is not a static IP address. And um, for an IP PBX system, I always like to have a static IP address. So, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that in Debian um, before we log into 3CX. 
um, the username's root and the password is whatever you entered for your password. Now if I go ifconfig, you can see here that um, I have that 60.10.0.0.60 IP address. I want to change that. So I'm going to go ahead and go to nano slash etc slash network slash interfaces. And then manually configure this as a um, static IP address. So we can go down here. This is DHCP, delete DHCP, push static, and then add the static address, address you want to have for it. Um, the static gateway, of course, is just your network gateway. And then the net mask. Once that's done, go control X, save, and restart your um, network interface by typing in um, etc slash init d slash networking space restart there we go now if i double check my settings it's now located at the 10.0.2.1 and i can log in to my management console using this local ip address so for the first time logging into that manage commit console let's go ahead and type in this ip address with that 5000 port number and it's going to let me log in my very unique username and also secure password and then log in the first time you log in it's going to ask you some basic setup information whether you want a two three four or five digit extensions i would never do two stick with three it just gives you more flexibility in the future an email address for your admin um so something like PBX or um, yeah a basic email address would work and then it's going to ask you to connect an, um, an email provider you can use an online one or just a, a mail server whichever you want to do and then whether you want to use SSL or TLS um, there Select your country. There we go, I'm in Germany. And your time zone. And then next, and an operator extension. Then they give you this option to allow countries to go to specific or sorry, phone calls to go to specific countries. If you're an international company calling everybody around the world, you'll unlock all of these. But if 100% of your phone calls are only limited within your local country, go ahead and keep it to your local country. It's just another security feature that they have built in. Click Next, choose your prompt set, which language you want. If you don't like US language, you can, uh, US English, you can actually choose a UK English um, as well. I'll go ahead and stick with US and then it's going to give you an option to complete all your details add um, yeah just double check all of that and then click finish this has been uh, how to install the 3CX system using the um, 3CX ISO on Debian um, now that was the full installation however there are some tips and tricks I'd like to share with you, especially using the um, Biranet hypervisor. If you realize installing that Debian system, um, the first time you do it, you'll realize it takes just a bit of time. You can re drastically reduce that time by using the backup and restore feature in the hypervisor itself. So if I go under um, backup virtual machines, you can see here that I have a USB stick plugged in, already formatted as a backup disk. And if I were to go in here, you see that I have a 3CX Debian. This is a full 3CX system, fully configured, ready to go. If I want to quickly put it in for demo purposes 
and then I even have a 3CX Debian that's not been configured. Now what that is, is a system that was installed up to the point of that restart, and then I didn't reboot it. I just let it sit, turned it off, and created a backup immediately. It's a great option and way to it's quickly install the, the system, so you can just get to that configuration section and ignore the rest of it. Of course, you might want to change your root password, um, as that would just, you know, keep it different per installation, probably better and more secure. Um, and there's one more thing you want to do if you install it um, for various customers. You want to change that MAC address because this machine is always going to have the same MAC address. To do that, just go into Manage Virtual Machines, manage that machine, go into Network, and create new MAC address. Do that before you finish that installation um, that we just did, before you submit the final activation information. Um, just to ensure that your license key is attached to your newly created MAC address. Anyways, also with the um, BeerNet Telephony Appliance, you are also able to uh, manage each virtual machine and log into each virtual machine using our cloud service, which allows you just to easily work with that. If you want more information on the BeerNet Cloud or, well, any other BeerNet stuff, just leave a comment. I'm not going to bore you with the details in this video. Anyways, thank you for watching. This has been, once again, our video on how to install the 3CX for Debian um, system on the BeerNet Telephony Appliance. Thank you.